Okay, let's talk about email marketing and why email marketing is so important for any business. Well, email is great because it gives you the opportunity to talk directly to your consumer and allows you to do it whenever you want, however you want. And a lot of people use email. I'm sure everyone uses email every day. You may see dozens to hundreds of emails in your inbox, and you may think, well, Maybe I don't want to do it. I don't want to spam people because I get a lot of emails as it is, but you may not even realize how effective those emails are. You may not realize how often you open them, and you may not realize that when you do it on a regular basis, it can be a really, really powerful tool. So let's look at a couple of stats that are important to know when it comes to emails. The first is that 73% of millennials identify email as their preferred means of business communication which is huge. Millennials are a very, very important uh, audience to be reaching right now. They are anyone aged between 22 and 37. These are people who are professionals. They are working professionals. They have money to spend and they want to spend money. And this is an audience you absolutely have to be engaging with. And with three out of four of them identifying email as their primary modes of communication, you have to be there. Next is that Tuesdays are generally identified as the best day of the week to send an email campaign. There are a number of different stats that this come from, and I will make sure to include links to where these stats are coming from. But a lot of people identify this as uh, kind of Monday is the day people come back from the weekend, they're getting into their work, and they're kind of dedicated to work on Monday. Tuesday is the day of the week where they can start to look through some emails and kind of play a little bit of catch up. So Tuesday is generally a good day of the week to send an email campaign. Also, 49% of all businesses use some form of email automation. And I'm going to talk about what that means in this section a little bit later. But a key number to think about, half of all businesses use email automation in some fashion. And then one to 44, that is the average ROI for every dollar spent on email marketing in the US, which means that for every $1 you spend on your email marketing campaign, on average, $44 come back to you. Now, of course, this is an average come from one source over a number of different industries, but that is a huge number. You're not going to get that type of ROI in anything else, in paid advertising, in press, in really anything you do. 1 to 44 is a huge, huge, huge number. So you absolutely want to make sure that you are using email marketing in some facet and that you are doing it correctly. Uh, and then at 20%, that is the average open rate of email campaigns across all categories. Uh, there are different averages for different categories. If you send a, a daily email campaign with a daily sale, that might be lower, like 15%. Pet categories tend to be higher maybe 25% plus, uh, but on average, 20% is what most people strive for. That means if you send an email to 100 people, 20 of them are going to open it on average. And if you can do that every single day, imagine if you have 1,000 people in your email list, if every day 200 people open it up and read about your business, that is really, really valuable. And you can do that every day if you want to. Now, how do we get started with email marketing if you're starting from scratch? Well, there are a few things that we need to talk about before you go and start to put together an email campaign. Uh, the first thing we need to talk about, what actually goes into an email campaign and what should you think about? Uh, well, first, we got to talk about a list. And that list is who are you going to send your email to? How did you get their information? And do you need multiple lists? So where do you get this from? Do you already have a database of people who have opted in to give you their contact information? Or are you getting this from a third party? Now it is definitely better to build a list from scratch. If you have a list of customers, if you have a pop-up on your email, if you have uh, gotten a list of friends and family, wherever it came from, make sure to build your list on your own. Make sure that it is valuable people that you know are interested in your product. And then understand, do you need multiple lists? Do you want a list of people who have already bought your product and a list of people who have not bought your product? You find out what that is. It may be just one email list is fine. You may find that you have reason to have multiple lists and that you can take your time in building out those separate lists. The next is content. 
what do you actually want to say in your emails? If you're going to put together an email campaign, it's important to make sure that you have a strategy. You're not just saying, hi, come buy my product. But what is it? Are you promoting a sale? Do you want to drive people to your website? Do you want to drive people into your retail location? Or do you have another reason to promote a message or to reach out to people? So understand ahead of time, what is that content? And not just for your first email, but what do you want to say every week or every day? How often do you want to do that? Which leads to the third one is timing. How often will you send an email? Which day or days will you do it? And what time of the day? Once you have all of these together, you can say, okay, I know I'm going to send an email every Tuesday to people who have already bought my product. And I want that content to be promoting a new product to try to get them to buy something new. And also on every Wednesday, I'm going to send an email to people who have not bought a product and I'm going to promote a sale to them. And I'm going to do that every week. And every single week, I'm going to have two emails going out to those two groups of people. And I will have enough content to fill every week. If you have enough content to fill every day, every other day, you can do that. But you should sit down and think about these three things before you move forward with creating an email campaign so that you know what you're going to actually start to, to build out and that you budget in the time to actually create these campaigns. Now, we'll walk through them shortly. It doesn't take too much time to do it, but it does take time. You need to make sure that you budget correctly for that. Now, there are two types of email campaigns that we'll talk about. Uh, one is regular and the second is automated. As I just mentioned, 49% of all businesses use some form of automated emails. So what is automated versus regular? Well, automated is something like a welcome message. You sign up for a newsletter and immediately you get an email from that company saying, welcome, thank you for signing up. That is an automated email. There isn't somebody sitting behind a desk waiting to send you a personalized email every time somebody signs up for their newsletter. This company has created a system so that every time somebody signs up for this newsletter and joins a list, an email is automatically sent out. That email is pre-populated, ready to go. Everyone gets the same thing. And we'll talk about how you can do that. And then regular is if you sit down and say, okay, it's Monday and I'm going to put together an email that is going to go out tomorrow morning or today, whatever it might be, but it's going to be a new camp, new email every time, new subject every week. It's not automated. It is something that you're doing on a regular basis and on a weekly basis. A combination of both of these is what I would recommend. And I'll show you again how to do that. Now, it's also important to understand what parts of an email you need to think about. Uh, so there are four main things. So the two from subject and content. So two, who is the email going to? Well, that would be your list. You know, what list of people are you sending it to? The from, who is the email coming from? Maybe it's coming from you, the person. Maybe it's coming from your company. Maybe it's coming from a support group or a helpline. But think about what from is it coming from an individual, an email, the company itself? What do you want people to see when they see your email come up in the from section? Then the subject, what is the headline for this email? Subjects are really important. Obviously, you want a subject that people will actually open, that will catch their attention, that uh, says everything you need to say about your product. And then the content and body. When they do actually open that email, what will the email say? And what will it look like when it's opened? You got to think about all four of these things before you go and actually create your email campaign. But now, let's say you have answered all these questions. You are ready to go. You're ready to put together your first email campaign. Where do you start? Well, you need to work with an email campaign provider. Just going on Gmail and putting together an email is not really the way to go. You want to work with somebody that can automate these processes for you, can provide reporting, can look at open rates, all sorts of different things. So there are lots out there. There are a couple that you may be familiar with. MailChimp is definitely one. It's a really popular one. Constant Contact is another you may be familiar with as well. Both of these uh, offer free options, either on a trial basis or free for small businesses. I'm going to focus on MailChimp. They have a really good free solution. If you have a list under 2,000 people, you can use it completely free, take advantage of all their products. So I'm going to go into MailChimp 
and walk through setting up an email campaign, show you how easy it is, show you where to focus, show you how to make a regular campaign and an automated campaign. And you can use the exact same processes for your own business. So let's get into it.